everybody. Can everybody see me? Yep, we can see and hear you. Thanks, Corey. Great. So I'm a sixth grade math teacher from uh, Franklin Township in New Jersey. Um, I started using Edge Elastic probably about two and a half years ago, and I haven't stopped since. Um, so I'm real excited to be here tonight and looking forward to uh, continuing and doing this more and more each year. So my goal tonight is to kind of share with you about how to actually choose your own questions from the question bank that is given there, okay? So a lot of times teachers like to create their own assessments. I happen to love using the question bank that's already there. It's really easy to use. Um, and it's got some great questions that are there already. So the first thing that I think everybody should do when they're looking at it is looking at the standards in their grade level. It's really easy. You could figure out what you want to do um, and you could choose your own standard. Okay, so for instance, I'm just gonna share the screen. It'll probably be a little bit easier just to, for me to walk through it as I'm talking about it. So the first thing, I'm a sixth grade math teacher, so I'm gonna just click on sixth grade. Um, the good thing about this is when I have lower level students and they may not be on a sixth grade level, I could still give them fifth grade questions. I could give them fourth grade questions. Or if I have a really advanced student, I could give them a seventh grade question or an eighth grade question. Obviously, we need to be in the subject area. And for me, we're on the New Jersey Student Learning Standards, so that's what I would choose. Or you could just go ahead and choose your Math Common Core, whatever works for you. In there, I am then going to click on whatever standard I feel like I'm working on. Now, the good thing is you can click multiple standards and it will give you questions for all of those standards. So just to make it easy for everybody, I'm just going to choose one standard. And as you can see, it's now circulating to what we have. So there are... 405 questions that are in just this standard of 6NSA1, okay? Um, you can look at the different things here, okay? So I don't bother looking at the collections. I just go for every question that is there and I look at them. I can look at my question types. If I want a specific type of question, I could put that there, multiple selection, and there are eight questions that does that. For me purposely, when I choose my questions, I don't actually check off the question types or the depth of knowledge because this way I could actually look at each question individually and choose what the best one is. For our school district, what we do is we do our small group instruction, small strategy group. So my whole class might be working on 6NSA1 but I might not wanna give everybody the exact same question. I might wanna give some an easier question, some a harder question, depending on what their level is. So I could create three different assessments for my students and use them and accordingly assign them to each individual person. Um, this becomes really helpful for me because I do have an ICR setting where I have some special education students in my class. So what they could do might not be what my higher level kids can do. So I want to make sure that I'm giving them the proper questions that they're able to do as well. In addition to that, once I look at all of this, I look at if everybody sees here, here's the standards. Here's the type of question that it is, and here's who it's by. Here's who actually made this. Now, I don't know this person, April Lane, at all. Might be a great question, but that's not what I'm going to look at right off the bat because I don't know them. So there are some really key ones that I know that are always going to be good 
there are going to be higher order type of questions and they're going to be more park like or for us njsla like um more of our state assessment like carnegie learning great one to have okay they usually have more higher order questions nj model curriculum also very good questions uh let's see engage new york phenomenal question uh and this is great this is a modeling question didn't even know that this was here and this is actually something that i'm teaching in my classroom right now um the engage new york questions also really good ones and then anything that you see that says park on it now that doesn't mean that the rest of these questions are not good so what i'm trying to say is as you're going through them you're going to find somebody that you know that you're happy with, that you think that person gives you great questions. You could search for those questions as well and try and add them. And you could continue doing that, like here's a park assessment question, right? So our school, our goal is everything, every question has to be park-like, right? So I know that the NJ model curriculums, the Engage New York questions, um, the Carnegie Learning questions, I know those questions are closely aligned with park assessments. So I purposely use all of those questions. Um, Jeffrey Fett here. I don't know this person at all, but his name comes up all the time. So I am more likely when I see his name attached to a question to actually look at those questions a little bit more carefully to see if I like those questions. Um, you know, and you could go through the pages of them to see what they are, you know, and if they're good. And as you can see, like Jeffrey Fett just came up two more times, right? So these are all questions, another one by him. Simone Gray, never seen this name before. Doesn't mean it's not a good question. It just means that I'm gonna look at their question a little bit more carefully for myself. Um, these are the questions that I kind of like to pull from and that I like to do. Like I said, if you wanna look at a very specific type of question, expression evaluator question, I'm gonna click on it, all of these questions are expression evaluator. So there's 61 questions that are expression evaluator questions. I could look through them. I could figure out what I want to do. My depth of knowledge questions, right? For us, for my school, for my classes, I look more at strategic thinking questions and extended thinking questions. The skill and concepts are good, the recall are good, but I want my students to think a little bit more. So in this standard, there's nine strategic thinking questions. And I could just click on them and look at them to see what they are, okay? And just go through and I could choose whichever question I think is the most valuable for you. Um, like I said, I, I love doing these because it makes my life a little bit easier. Um, I pull even when I, for our district, we have to use a certain program for our actually unit assessments. But when I don't make my kids take the assessment on Edulastic, I pull questions from Edulastic to put on my unit assessment. They're great questions. They're easy to find. Um, and the students like these questions. They like doing it because it's more interactive for them. Um, I think that's kind of everything that I have for you. I'm gonna put my email in the chat as well. If anybody has any questions moving forward, uh, feel free to email me at any time and I will be more than happy to get back to you um, as soon as I can. Thanks very much. Uh, enjoy you, the rest of your evening. That was great, Corey. Thank you. Do you mind clicking on some of those questions and just showing the preview so people can get a view of what it looks like? Sure. So clicking on that little next to add, I think you can do it one by one. Or so, so when you're looking for browsing for questions, that's how it looks. But when you're actually previewing it, um, 
this, it shows you what, what it will look like to the students, which I just wanted to point out quickly. So um, here's the preview for it. I kind of went the long way around to do that. Um, let me just show you the quicker way to do that. So if you just click right here on the little magnifying glass, that'll actually take you to the preview. Mm -hmm. And here's what the kids will actually see um, as they're doing their assessments.